from Spare Time Lanes in Kennewick, Washington. We're here for the title matches of today's JBT event. First visit out here to the Tri-Cities area. Great hosts here. They had the logos up on the lanes all day long. All kinds of good stuff. Really appreciate it. And a different face here in the title match. This is Bryson Parker looking to win his second career JBT title. He has one win prior. That was in the handicap division a couple years ago. So this by far his best scratch division finish. He's taken on an eight-time champ and former TPC winner Tristan Curtis. So a tough test for him here in the scratch division title match. Also, just getting ready to start handicap title match action as it's also one versus two with top seed Collins Davis there in the blue taking on a second seed Nick Brichetta. Uh, Nick a member of the all-star team last season while Collins this will be his best finish in JBT also so a couple new faces versus a couple veterans here in scratch and handicap. Kind of a slow start to this scratch title match Bryson went a uh, big four and then a spare in the second, and he's actually got himself a one-pin lead at the moment against uh, Tristan, who missed a 2-8 in the second for a spare open for his start. And he crashes through high again here in the third frame, and I'll have the 6-10 to deal with. Pulled on middle road today, which is exactly that. Not the easiest pattern around, not the hardest one. Uh, cut reflected that, minus 53 today for five games. So just about a 190 average in scratch to get into the top half of the field. Three more games of match play, and then you're watching the end of the step ladder here. Hard and straight at the spare, that's a good idea, and that's a good spare for him. That TPC win was really the uh, signature win of Tristan's career getting through a lot of tough bowlers, fellow Northwestern bowlers, too, to win that TPC title. Underrated toughness, knows his game very well. Mentally strong, lots of good attributes. Go win eight times without being tough. Whoop. Wow, not exactly stable at the line. You see his uh, body language uh, reflect that. Follow through went right over to lane negative seven if there was one on on the lanes but you know what all pins fell it's all matters Riquette and Collins just getting started over to the left let's follow them too uh, Nick has to win by 15 to tie and 16 to win over there and see the characteristics when you have more oil in the middle than the outside the players have to migrate left the more hand rotation they have, the more left they've got to get to account for that drying track portion of the lane. See Tristan sliding in the left gutter, launching around fifth and sixth there. Oh, that was left. And he's kind of fishing around right now. 2-8 last time in that lane, and now a 3-9-10. So not comfortable on the left-hand lane. Tough as the top seed. You've only got four practice balls. you got to make some educated guesses. Parker, meanwhile, coming off a big game in the semifinals to defeat Brian Manette. Manette beat Brian Nicholas before that, and Ryan Harris to open up the scratch step ladder. So a couple different faces in there. 3 9 tens a makeable split. You gotta hook the ball because you gotta get to carry out the nine as well. That's close. Nope. Too much of the 3-9. So the second open frame of a match virtually ties us up. Sorry, that was Tristan's open there in the fourth. It's Parker who has the lead back now by 11 points to spare up in his fourth frame. Bryson, a tall guy, but check this out. He's going to go very far up, and he only uses three steps. You don't see a three-step approach very often. Watch that left lane go up first, and one, two, three. He does that on both lanes. And he, too, coming up high. That track portion, it looks pretty blown up to me right now. They're going to have to make a set of adjustments to that. They can try and ball down, they can move left, change your tilt, change your speed, all kinds of different adjustments you got to have in your arsenal if you're going to win long format tournaments. Uh, not yet. It was hard and straight with a different ball that time and covers up to three. All right, so 10 pin lead through four frames of his first scratch title match. Davis will be coming onto your screen on the left here. He's a top seed for the first time in his JBT career. Nice basic fundamentals there and a good shot. Spare strike to open up for him. Luketa, meanwhile, a longtime veteran, all-star, like I said, last year. 
struggled early this year. We put out some brutal lane conditions early on this season. We struggled on them. A little more room to play and took full advantage today. Oh, gets that ninth in late. Just held on long enough. Bryson is tough to read. If there was a, a poker division, Bryson would be at or near the top of the leaderboard every tournament. It's a tough one to read. So an early lead for him. We'll see if he can hang on to it in part two.